Hi, today we discuss urea cycle. Urea is a molecule which contains one carbon, which we get through carbon dioxide, one nitrogen, which we get through ammonium, one more nitrogen, which we are getting through aspartate. Urea is the end product of protein catabolism. More the protein intake, more is the production of urea. Salient features of urea synthesis. First, it takes part in cytoplasm plus mitochondria. Second, the site is liver because the last enzyme that is arginase is present only in liver third it is a highly energy using catabolism four ATPs are utilized now we we'll discuss the urea cycle urea cycle also called as krebs henslet cycle also called as ornithin cycle also called as bicycle carbon dioxide and ammonium will react in the presence of carbamyl phosphate synthase 1 to form carbamyl phosphate the word 1 is very important because 2 is used in pyrimidine synthesis so carbamyl phosphate synthase 1 in the presence of activator and acetyl glutamate this is the process which will utilize 2 ATP to form 2 ADP now the carbamyl phosphate will react with ornithin to form citrulin. This takes place in the presence of ornithin transcarbomylase. This part of the reaction of the cycle is in mitochondria. Now the citrulline will come out in the cytoplasm through a transporter. It will react with aspartate to form arginosuccinate. In the presence of arginosuccinate synthase. This again is consuming 1 ATP but here a AMP is formed. This arginosuccinate will form fumarate and arginine in the presence of arginase. This arginine will form finally ornithin and urea in the presence of enzyme arginase. Sorry. Here it is arginosuccinase. 